You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. This video is sponsored by Mattel. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out two sets from Mega Bloks, both for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows. And they're for ages six plus. I do need to say thanks to Mattel for sponsoring the video and sending us these sets. Without them, we wouldn't be able to show them to you. Now, the one on the left is the Raf Street Strike, and that's for ages six plus, 122 pieces. The one on the right, which is the one I want to build and I'm going to build, is the Jungle Takedown. That's ages 6 plus, 273 pieces. What I'll do is I'll put all the information you need, all the details in the description. Plus, there'll also be a link there so you can check it out right on Megablox. So what I'm going to do probably is show you the box for this one. I want to show you that. So I'm going to come back. We'll start there and then we'll move on to the tank because that's the one I'm going to build. All right, so this is kind of like a little bonus item that they sent us. It is the Street Strike, ages 6 plus. Now there is a Try Me feature on the box, which looks pretty cool. Let's see. Try Me, what happens? Ooh, can you see it in there? Let me move it a little closer. So you get flashing lights. So it looks like the front lights up yellow and the side skirts are going to light up this red color. Now let's see what you get inside of it here. So you get two figures, you get Raph and the foot soldier, and then you get the vehicle and what looks like some kind of launcher over here. It looks like a sewer great launcher. Yeah, there it is right there. And then uh, let's see, build it, construct it, play. Yes, that's what it's all about. Using your imagination and playing with the sets and you can collect them all. And this is the one I want to do right here. So when I come back, let's check out the box for the other one. All right, so this is the Jungle Takedown Combat Jungle. Remember, again, for both sets, I'll have all of the details and links in the description area for you. Lights and sound. Ooh, let's check that out. Aha, uh -huh. so my turret actually lights up and shoots. All right, and then uh, let me turn this around. What else can we see on the box? I always like to look at the boxes, kind of see the artwork which is very colorful. Let's go. We get a Mikey. We get a Rocksteady. There's the two figures. It looks like a side machine gun, which launches. Look at that. And then you have the main tank. And then, ooh, it looks like the machine gun can mount up there or down there. I guess that's all part of building it for you, which I want to do. So then we'll have some playtime at the end. But right now, let's get on to the build. All right, so I started taking it out of the box and thought, well, let me show you what I do because I like to keep my boxes in their original condition. They give you this little pull tab here. You can press this and take the box apart that way. Me, I just like to take a letter opener, a standard household letter opener, and I just try to find the glue on the side and work my way around the box. That's why I can keep it as original as possible. Once you're in, you should have no problem getting all the parts out and keeping the box and you'll see in other videos that I do I always try to keep the box there or you could use a butter knife if you want now let's take a look at all the pieces inside there's that working cannon I always like the try me features there must be some kind of battery run through here probably inside we'll see there's my two figures and my cannon Okay, bags. Nicely colored, organized here for me. I'm trying to get to the instructions, which is the most important part. You get this white sheet, and then here it is, the full color instructions. Ah, very nice. Interesting. And very cool that they open this way, and it's not a full flap open or multiple pages, so now you can isolate single pages while doing the build. All right, so organization, what do I do? Well, I always organize with plates and bowls. So when I come back, I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. I'll get my supplies that I need to do the build, and then after that, I will get started. All right, so I like to use white plates. You can use any plate you want, and I will take the bigger bags here. And I will lay the parts in there. They're easy to see. 
Nice to shuffle around. I also use trays. It just depends on what you like here. I got a couple small plates here. It's kind of like I'm serving up some Mega Blocks for you. And then now, keeps everything in place. I can grab the plate. I can move it around. Okay, I can mix these two. Well, I got more plates. Let me do this. Let me fill up that other little plate. Okay, and always double check your bags too that you don't leave a little part in there. I've done that before and realized later that the part I was missing was in the little crevice of the bag. Don't do that. Now, it looks like I can combine a few. The bags aren't numbered in any way, so you don't have to worry about it. It's just how you want to sort through the parts. And let me get one more plate. I think I can put the rest in this plate. And then I am almost set. So what I like to do, I'll tell you what, just to, there we go. Ooh, look at my tracks. Now I'm a huge fan of tanks. And I'll leave that in the back because we'll see. Oh, I got a weapon. My first weapon. Let's move that over. And then I'll put this little bag because they're similar color parts. Onto this. There. Now everything is set. I'm going to move these out of the way. Get my big plate in here. And this is how I grab parts. Okay. Let's get these out. Now I thought this was one of those trimies where the battery was connected to the trimie, but I think the battery goes inside this component piece. I will check it out for you just to make sure. Yes. So it looks like Taking off these screws will get you into the battery. Cool. <laughs> Alright, so the two figures come pre-assembled. So basically, step one was assemble the figures. So if you want to do that, you can disassemble them, then reassemble them. And look at the detail on those. And I'll show you more detail after I get started here. These going to accompany me throughout the build, huh? All right, so when I come back, I will be set. I'd like to get the first maybe 10 steps set up, and we will start building the tank. All right, as the tank now drives into battle, but I think what I want to do is, oh, by the way, yes, you just saw a speeded up version of the video. If you want to see the complete build like I normally do it, look in that description. I'll have a link there for you, and you can watch as I build it step by step. And then, uh, so I'm going to take Rock Steady. I think I'd rather have Mikey in the turret area there. We'll put you here because we want to shoot him from this level and try to at least knock him over. So let's let Mikey drive in. Now this particular side gun turns and you could angle it down, watch, and hit him. Here, let me come in from here. This would be a better angle so you can watch it as he's being shot. Here you go. Let's see if I can knock him out. Nice. Took him right out. Now remember this launcher will launch this as well. So you could put him here. Well, he's being the victim for today. Once you get him set, this would be good for close range, huh? Here we go. It's going to ricochet right off him. Pew! All right. Now let's check out the tank itself. Let me give you a couple perspectives here. Give you a nice close-up shot of that. Okay. 
treads look really cool on there and they do turn when you roll the vehicle. You got your bat stow, stowaway there. The gun will go up and down. And remember this now. We should check that out in the dark. I'll do that real quick. And then I'll come back with a surprise item. These look like they do move up and down. One more time from here. Because I made that other set for you. I thought it'd be cool to show both in a battle scene. So when I come back after showing you this in the dark, we'll check out the other set. All right, my tank is in full fire here. I'm holding it down because one, it shows you that you can do that. And two, keeps the camera in focus. So if I hold it, woo, woo, then you get that. If I press it quickly, I get the full single round shot. Now I hold it, I get the multi-fire machine gun sound. Let's see if we can get you right into that machine gun. That is cool. Now the other set, that was the little trike. Here, I'll just light that one up real quick here. It's not the one I'm really showing you, but when I come back, I will show that to you. All right, there you go. That is what it looks like in the dark and showing you how those features work. So when I come back, we'll check out both sets now. Watch it. Mikey, hurry up with the big guns. I can't hold them all forever, dude. I'm on my way, Raph. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, that was uh, three large pepperoni pizzas. Yeah, and, and yeah, extra anchovies. Almost in position. Let's do this. Here they come, are you ready? Cowabunga, dude! Oh no, it's the foot soldier! Ah, oh, they made it an even fight, two on two! Let's get at it! Mikey, fire now, they're together! Did you see that explosion? Wow, two for the price of one shot! Let's head back and eat those pizzas! All right, there you go. Good versus evil. That was pretty fun to do. I hope you enjoyed that little video bonus there. And then I didn't really give you a good look at this set here. I said I was going to get to it, but I'll do it right now. So you get the Raphael character. You get this extra launcher. Watch how nice this one works. It shoots the sewer tops, the sewer grate. Look, we'll take out everything over there. And one shot. Very cool. And then the three-wheeler is the one that's got the light on it. The light on the front and the red lights will turn on. And then you also get the foot soldier with his sword. All right, so what do you think? Uh, what do you think about both sets? I like the detail on the characters, the detail on the sets, which reminds me, I'm gonna put a poll in there about the detail. Like if it's colored and painted on the actual panel, do you like that or do you like putting on decals? And then I'll put a poll up about both sets. Which sets do you like? Which set do you like more or the other? Or you think they're just both really cool? And then the last one will be the type of build. Do you like the full build or do you like the speeded up version I did in this video? And remember, if you want to get the full build, I'll have a link in the description there. And if you want to head over to Mega Blocks, there'll be a link there as well. And all the details for both sets will be there. Thanks for, you know, watching the video. Thanks for supporting us on social media. Thanks for all the shares and thumbs up. It's really appreciated. And here he comes one more time. And thanks for watching. Cowabunga, dude. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching!